Today we're going to fit these wraparound diff guards by Rattel X Industries. But first I want to explain why diff guards are probably the most important thing that you're going to fit to your Land Rover if you're taking it off road. You see the diff is the lowest point on a Land Rover which means it's most likely to get bashed by rocks and tree stumps and any other debris. If you crack your diff casing you'll end up losing your oil in your diff and then you could be stranded in the middle of nowhere. Now these diff guards wrap around the whole of the diff and not just the face which gives you the extra protection when scraping over rocks and tree stumps. They're made in the UK. They're also laser engineered from structural grade steel and they're a simple bolt on part. They don't require any drilling or anything like that and they come with the hardware. And they fit all the Land Rover Discovery 1 series, the Defender, the Range Rover Classics and the Series 2 and 3. Enough of my waffling, let me show you how to fit them on the car. That's the top bracket on. I'm leaving everything loose so that it can be all shuffled around because it is going to be quite tight up there. Now where the guard fits into these two holes, it's a good idea to use the bolt that you've just cut in half. As a cutting tool, to just clean these threads out before you start and that will make it easier for fitting so just start it off by hand and then I'm just going to wind it in and wind it back out and that's going in quite easily see there is a bit of gunk in there and it's done its job is this one and there's a bit of gunk in that one as well now they're clear and that's where it's going to sit that bracket's going to sit there and I'm thinking probably going to be easier to put a couple of bolts in there just to hold it put a couple of bolts in the bottom that supports it then and you can let it hang yeah that's it there we go that's one in and the other nut's gone over there now <coughs> so now one's in you don't have to support it as much there we go A bit fiddly but no big deal I'm not going to do them all up just going to do it loose for now Right, now 
know what I mean? Need to make sure the bracket at the top's up right. Now I'll do the top bracket first and then I'll tighten everything up at the bottom. do the top bracket. There we go. Solid. Now the front's a bit different because it has this bit which goes around the track rod and on Land Rover Discoveries it has this bit here which is for mounting your steering damper. On the Defender the dampener is on the front whereas on the Discovery it's actually on the back of the axle. This is why you have the longer bolts to accommodate for the extra distance of the brackets. I'm going to do away with this bracket. If you've got the harmonic balancer, you'll need the longer bolts. Well that's the diff guards on, it's a nice easy job and they look great and they'll provide plenty of off-road protection. Two things to mention is to make sure that you leave all the bolts loose before you've got them all in, that way you've got a little bit of wiggle room. And also the two bolts that join the two pieces of diff guard, they can be quite fiddly. So I found that if you use a pair of pliers and hold the nut that way you can get the top bolt in and screw it in. It's a bit easier that way. If you're interested in these guards by Rattelex, the website is in the description below. Check them out. They also do a lot of other off-road protection and parts as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.